you know when you, one of your favorite authors releases a brand new series and you only found out about it recently and then you're just on this verge to want to read and devour that series even though you have tens and thousands of series that you're already in the middle of and need to complete and you have an endless TBR pile yeah well this video basically encapsulates that feeling for me Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi or welcome. I'm Dwani and welcome back to another chaotic video. If you could not tell by the title of this video, I am doing a reading vlog for Misfit by Elle Kennedy. This is her newest series. It's the first book in the series. So I thought what not better way to start a whole new series by starting reading a new series. I'm gonna do like a whole playlist with all my reading vlogs for the books in the prep series by Elle Kennedy. Like always, let's go to the blurb and see what the book is all about. The first in an addictive series where the only thing more dangerous than the students are the secrets they're keeping, RJ's senior year is going to be hell. He's being sent to a standover prep, an ivy covered all boys boarding school for rich delinquents. Knowing that a misfit hacker like him will never belong in, at a place like Sandover, RJ decides that there's no point in making friends or trying to fit in. That is, until he meets a gorgeous girl in the woods on campus. So in his pure temptation, with sharp tongue and an ice princess attitude, RJ is determined to crack. Except there's a catch, Sloane is the headmaster's daughter and forbidden fruit. Good thing RJ doesn't believe in rules. Their connection is impossible to deny and he's going to win her over if it kills him, unless her ex-boyfriend kills him first. The ruling king of Sandover will stop at nothing to get rid of his competition. If RJ wants to survive prep school and win Sloan's heart, he'll need to get people on his side and fast. So, forbidden romance, computer dude, secrets, private school. It's a good mix. Any spoilers or anything like that, I will do at the end of the video. And I will do like a little clip where I go, spoilers, click off now. I am just over 25% of this book. I'm on page 106 out of 416. And so far we've had like four different POVs. Yes, four, which is very different for Earl Kennedy, which is something I really enjoy because you get to see a lot more perspectives and you see like the characters perspectives as well. And not just the main characters that the book is about, but people surrounding them. The main focus still is on like RJ and Sloane, but you still see like Fen, you still see Silas's point of view, you see Lawson's point of view, which is very different for Elle Kennedy to do. She's the kind of person that does two points of views majority of the time. Like I definitely feel like the writing styles are improved. I don't have a rating yet. Hey guys, long time no talk, cause long time no read. We've reached halfway of Misfit and I'm gonna do my halfway review. This book, I'm very conflicted with it because I love Elle Kennedy's writing. I love her books. Um, there have been only two books that have been given three stars from me. So I should love this book, but right now I'm just not feeling it. I feel like having 400 pages for what the content is worth. I don't think that's right. I feel like it could have been a little bit shorter, maybe 350 pages, but that's only something I can conclude when I have finished the book. But right now I just feel like with what's been going on in the first half, I feel like that could have definitely been done in like a hundred or so pages. I thought there would be a lot more interaction between RJ and Sloane, but there hasn't been that much. Like you can see, RJ talking about Sloane and his point of view chapters and then you can see Sloane talking about RJ and her point of view chapters but there have been very limited times where they've done something together or they've texted or anything like that so I feel like that's what this book is lacking as well but on top of that I thought I would enjoy the multiple points of view but I think because of the multiple points of view we lack interaction between Sloane and RJ and I wish there was a little bit more to balance out the multiple point of views because I do enjoy it, but I don't enjoy it because there's a lack of communication between RJ and Sloane. The writing's definitely improved. Um, I see her using like 
her just being a more, bit more fun in this and I think that's the kind of character she wanted to portray and that's done really, really well in the book. Do I have a rating as of now? I think for me right now, it's at a 3.75 because I'm liking how there's like power play in here um, in terms of like who's sort of the alpha male in the school kind of situation and all of that. I do like the banner that's going on between RJ and Sloan. The back and forth is really cute. The writing's good. I can picture things very nicely, but I just do have some issues with it. Um, 75% through this book. I'm on page 306 out of 416. My thoughts haven't really changed as of yet. We've seen a little bit more of like Sloan and RJ being together which is what I wanted, like I said in the last clip, but then like with the amount of point of views that are present in this book, I just feel like some chapters and some points were very unnecessary. I don't have a rating. I just feel like I need to wait to the end because I feel like a lot more things, like a lot more will happen towards the end of the book. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and finish it off today because I don't have a lot, I have just over like 110 pages and I know I can finish it off because it's literally just the afternoon. This is the last check-in, the 100% check-in, which means it's the final review for Misfit by Al Kennedy. I have finally finished this book after so long. Thoughts? I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about this book. The ending was definitely something. And it really gets you excited to read the second book because the second book is about two of the characters that we're introduced in this book. I still feel like some chapters were filler chapters and weren't necessary. Like, I feel like, I think there was only one chapter in Lawson's point of view that I felt like, hmm, it's actually relevant. All the other ones I felt like were unrelevant and were filler chapters and really weren't needed. The writing definitely improved um, from her last few books that I've read. I feel like she's managed to portray the characters really well through her writing, which is something I haven't seen properly in a book done before. So that was really refreshing to see. Another refreshing thing was that she used so many different points of views and she's never done anything like that before. So that was new and she did it really well, except Lawson. I just feel like that one chapter from Lawson's point of view would have been so much better than having so many chapters just as filler chapters. And then if she does want to have like, if if all the guys mentioned in this book are going to have their own stories, then I feel like what she did with Rogue, she could have done with the other ones. So she introduced Van and Casey in this book, spoke about their story a little bit. And then the ending was predominantly focused on Casey and Fan. So it leads you into the second book really nicely. The ending did get better, but it only actually started picking up sort of the 60, 70% mark. It's very slow paced before then, but then after it's like, you can't stop reading it and that's what happened. So I think I'm gonna give this a four star. That was my reading vlog of Misfit by Al Kennedy. I am going to be doing one for the second book, um, which is Rogue in this series. That's the most recent release. If you enjoyed the vlog, then make sure to like, subscribe and comment if you've read the book or not and what your favorite Al Kennedy book is. Spoilers are going to start now, so if you haven't read the book and you want to read the book, click off. The only reason I think he starts talking to Casey is because you feel you regret leaving her there after getting her out of the water. Mm -hmm. Why you are annoyed with Miss Fit? Why? Because they're not going to tell us who was in the frame when um, Casey went to the boathouse. Oh no, we found out who's in the frame. Wait, really? In this book, yeah. Oh, damn, okay. I feel like Dawson's point of views are not necessary and just fillers because they don't link to Sloane or RJ. But then like Silas's point of views, they do link to RJ and Sloane because he has a massive crush on Sloane. I just feel like it was unnecessary. And if each of these boys are going to have their own book, then do it in the book before, like how... We've got Fenn's point of views in this before Fenn's book. This is a prediction for Rogue, not for Misfit. But I think Fenn um, 
either drugged Cassie's drink or he helped Silas or Lawson do it. Yeah. 